Yeah. Here we go. The race is underway. A lot of wheel spin there from Dubsy. He's going to leave his, uh, the inside open for Forza Alonso, who is not going to be able to take advantage. We've got some contact there. Oh, somebody ran into the back of base chief Ninja. Still too wide going down into here. The Ferrari's looking to the inside of Alonso. Now he's out to the outside. Oh, Alonso's... Oh, he's slow. Something happened there with Forza Alonso. And the Ferrari is going to get by for second place. And now Dahi's looking. And here comes maybe. The Haas car is dropping. He's got to be able to stem that blood flow there. He's losing it quick. Two positions. Looks like he's going to be able to hold off Nick Dahi right out in front. Decent, decent there to make sure that he doesn't lose any more spots because he was looking like another possible two would have been a serious problem. So we got base chief Ninja running in second. Here comes Forza Alonso looking and he is outside there. Not sure if he'll be able to make a move stick, but he's there. Going to try to go to the outside of this corner. He's stick. Wow, he's stuck with it. Uh, he's going to squeeze him a little bit, make that position pass. That's going to leave the door open for Nick Dahi to go around the Ferrari as well. But he's under pressure from maybe on the inside. That forced India on the inside of Dahi. And he's going to make it work. And now Dahi is just losing positions like crazy. Cleo is going to make a move. Here comes Majako, the champion. Oh, he cut across his foot. Oh, unfortunate Cleo. Cleo and Dahi make contact, and Dahi is done. That is heavy, heavy contact for the Red Bull. Your second place in the championship. Got to have suspension damage. Definitely lost that front wing. He's still going. He's not out of this race, but he's got to make sure that he can get back to the pits as well. Look at that thing. It does not want to steer at all. He, you know, if he has an accident before he gets to the it gets to the pits, then all of a sudden this race changes dramatically. There's another Red Bull without a front wing. There's not a Red Bull out on the track with a front wing. What is that? That is a McLaren Honda struggling as well. So Zeke without a front wing. Bubba is the McLaren that's struggling. KWP back there in the Toro Rosso trying to find some positions here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get back in the front. Looks like uh, Mitch Man had some problems there. Started in 12th, so clearly he was a part of some of that contact farther back in the field. J-Dub, serious damage on his car. Uh, Dubsy back out up front, leading this race. Yeah, that was, that was tough contact there. Not sure what happened. It was a real, real quick turn to the left that... Uh, helped Clio make contact and both of those cars were having an excellent start so it's unfortunate but as you can see we've got a lead a race for the lead tightening up right here between Dubsy the points leader and Forza Alonso so Alonso's trying to run him down we saw a little bit of brake lock up from Dubsy there he's pushing real hard on those ultra softs you can see maybe there in third El Majaco has pushed his way up into fourth with the two Ferraris of Gordow and Base Chief Ninja behind him. I am a drunk dolphin running in seventh. He was running pretty good last week as well before he had some problems. Ditchwich, the big mover in the race. I think he's I think he's moved up at least nine positions. Excellent job for that Sauber. Pork chops there in ninth. Brian Mosser who sponsored this event in tenth. Hootius up to eleventh. And then we've got all the guys trying to recover from contact right there as well. So let's get back to the front. This battle is heating up, as are the front brakes on Dubsy's car. He's pushing those brakes hard. He's pushing those front tires hard, blocking them up multiple times throughout these laps, trying to stay in front of Forza Alonso, who I think it's safe to say is quicker right now. Look at the tire smoke coming off of that thing. Thank you, sir. Um... Dubsy clearly pushing hard. It's going to be hard to stay in front of Forza Alonso there. I think maybe might be quicker than both of them. He looks to be catching both of those cars right now. So watch that Sahara Force India. We've been talking about him being really close. He might be due for a good podium or win here. So he's going to try to force his way up into this battle momentarily. So we should have DRS enabled right here. You can see it open on the Forza Alonso Haas. Looks like maybe is just out of DRS range. He's not going to have it down the front stretch. You do not have DRS down this straightaway, but there is a detection zone about three-quarters of the way down the straightaway that's going to give it to you 
on the next straight in the run down to turn three. So they've passed the detection zone. Forza Alonso's going to have it for this straightaway, and he's close. He's very close. We'll see him. It's open now. He's in the slipstream. Will he have enough time to make a move? It looks like he's got too much of a gap there, so he's going to have to wait, but he's able to close that gap. Look at him coming. Dubsy's still locking those tires up. They're going to be really, really worn by the time he hits the pits. Hopefully that doesn't cause him any problems in the near future, but he is trying to stay out front. And maybe is catching them both. Look at him right there. The Force India is catching him. Maybe is trying to set his tone on this race, letting these boys know that just because they've won races in the past, just because they've won championships in the past, they're not getting away from him today. Maybe in third place, chasing down the leaders. And we are going to have a three-way battle for the lead really shortly. DRS open on the Haas car see if maybe he's in range we can't really see right now might have a move coming at the end of this straightaway even without DRS Dubsy had a little slip there locked him up the Haas is looking to the inside and he's gonna be able to make this move but will the Mercedes hold the outside no but this is opening up for maybe they're gonna go three wide into this next corner the Haas on the inside oh maybe he's thinking better of it He's thinking conservative, going to try to get one rather than two, but these guys aren't giving up. Dubsy on the outside, holding the lead for now, and Maybe's on the outside of the Haas. Oh, my God, what a race. They're still too wide. Multiple corners. Plenty of this race. Here comes Maybe the three wide. Maybe's in the grass. Had to get out of it. There would have been contact there. The Haas will not relinquish this battle. Dubsy, Alonzo, Maybe. What a fantastic race we've got going right now. Maybe he's got the move made on the Haas. He's going to make it stick. Alonzo, oh, but he's wide. Okay, Alonzo and Dubsy in the pits. Maybe now leading this race. Hopefully he didn't get, no, he clearly was able to get back onto the course. So he will retain the lead. Maybe he's on super softs. Okay. Fantastic racing action. He ran those drivers down on the harder compound tire. Those guys had to pit. And now maybe is leading this race with laps left on his tires we got a reset there that was whoo oh my gosh we got Majako there in second ditch witch up to third gotta put a hand in there pork chops in fourth brian mosser in fifth so dubsy who was your race leader coming out in sixth he's going to make a move there on the renault which i believe was a lap down he's got the williams behind him as a buffer between himself and the Haas car. I think Alonzo knew he was coming in the pits. He wanted to make sure that he didn't find any contact in that fantastic battle that we had going. A little bit of a slip there from Dubsy. Well, Nick Dahi has damage. He's still in this race. Let's see if we can find him. He has recovered. He is sitting in 16th, 52 seconds behind the leader. He's on super soft tires. Sliding the rear of that car we saw out of that corner, but he's got a long way to go. Plenty of cars here that he can make up positions on if he can start turning some decent laps, but long way to go for Nick Dahi. Not going to have the finish he wanted tonight. Uh, Houdia sitting in eighth. Looks like El Majaco has pitted. So Majaco is in the pits here. Forza Alonso has gotten around that buffer car of the Williams and is looking to the outside of Dubsy. Dubsy's going to lock him up to stay in front. Both of these drivers on super softs, they're going to run side by side the whole race. I might as well not get excited because this is just going to be normal, everyday behavior as we go here. Side by side again, we are on board with Alonso looking at the over-under. Can he make it work inside of Dubsy now? But I think Dubsy's going to have the run down to this corner, so Dubsy's going to be able to hold him off for now. Can Alonzo get back to the inside? No, it's not going to happen in this corner, but he's really close. He's got that slipstream and can make it work here soon. Wow. These two guys, we saw this last week too in Singapore. Oh, he's to the inside. Almost contact between those drivers. Dubsy tries to pinch his nose. Not going to happen. He's going to have to relinquish this position, I think, but he's sticking tough. Oh, my gosh. He still held him off. How in the world is he holding him off? They've been side by side for 10 corners. 
Well, that ghosted car, I think, gave Dubsy some problems. I don't know if he slipped or what. Clearly some issues there, and that allowed Forza Alonso to make that position. He's up in the fifth, but Dubsy's back on the attack, locking him up, trying to go under. He's going to have a look down this straightaway. He says, okay, I made a mistake, but you're not going to take this position willingly. I'm just going to take it back from you right here. He's got the inside coming down into this corner. They're looking at Brian Mosser in front of them in the McLaren, much slower than these two drivers right now. He is on softs, trying to make them last. Oh, now they're Forza Alonso to the inside of Dubsy. Can Dubsy hold tough for this next corner? He can, but he's still on the outside. I think Dubsy's got that move made. Dubsy's got back around Alonso after his issue with the ghosted car, the ghosted manor. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Up to fourth now is Dubsy. Forza Alonso right there. I'm afraid to leave these guys. I'm afraid to leave these guys because I feel like they're just going to run side by side forever. And here they go again. Alonzo on the outside of this corner. No luck there, but he's sticking close. Let's go ahead. we got to get up front here. So maybe is still leading this race in the super soft tires. He's making them last. Ditch Witch, the biggest mover in this race on softs. Running second right now. We'll see how long he can stay out there. He's clearly trying to make less pit stops than the other drivers. Pork chops on softs as well. Those two cars doing very well. And as you can see, the madmen of Dubsy and Alonzo trying to run them down. Ooh, Dubsy's a little bit loose there. He's going to give Alonzo a look. Not going to happen right there. Fourth place car of Dubsy coming up on the third place car of Pork Chops. Oh my gosh, I, I, I don't know how I'm ever going to have a voice doing these things. I, I'm going to lose it every week. Here comes Alonzo on the inside. He's going to be able to stick his nose in. Dubsy gives him room. The two cars still side by side, but Dubsy's going to come out of this corner with the lead. Alonzo's going to look to get in the slipstream. Dubsy tries to break it, and he's going to protect the inside. He's made that one move, able to protect the inside, but he's pushed it wide. Here comes Alonzo up the inside. Protecting that line cost him a little bit of room on that racetrack, and it opened the door for Alonzo, who took that opportunity, and now Dubsy has a gap that he's got to close. The question is, does he, I think he's got DRS in this zone, so here he comes. DRS flap open, Alonzo has it too. And it's going to act as a defensive measure because Dubsy's not going to be able to get close enough to make a move. A lot of lockup on that Dubsy car. He's, he's really, really rough on them tires tonight. Now here goes Alonzo around the Sauber of Pork Chops. Not a lot of fight there from Pork Chops. He's going to try to stay out of the way. Ooh, ooh, a little bit of lag there. That could have been a serious issue. Here comes Dubsy looking to make a move. He's on the outside and now the inside. Pretty clean move there and a tough portion of the track to make it happen. Great move there by Dubsy, who's got to keep... What happened to Pork Chops? He's retired from the session. We was just right there racing, running fourth. I don't know if that was a disconnect, but it said he retired. I didn't see him run off course. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate right there. El Majaco, we saw a look at him back here in fifth. Gordal in sixth. Brian Mosser in seventh. Good run for Brian right now. Ditchwich still holding strong there in second. See if we can see how far lag just took me out. Was, so was there contact there? We saw a little bit of lag, Pork Chops. We saw it happen. Yeah, maybe able to maintain the lead even against DRS and no BA, ABS for Dubsy. Clearly, Dubsy does not like that. Not sure that he'd consider it a crutch, but he can do it himself. I want to get up here with the leader, the leader of this race on Supersofts, who is making those tires last. I want to check and see in the race director. we got to get out of the action to see it. But he started seventh on this grid, and you can see those Supersofts haven't fallen off a ton. Honestly, not a ton. Uh, looks like he is a second slower than he was going a handful of laps ago, but that might have been just a wild lap. He might have had a little mistake there. 
Yeah, he's got to be able to come in here soon. Uh, the Ditch Witch here is running similar laps to the leader on the soft, so he's doing really well. Ditch Witch, of course, coming back his first season back from an injury, uh, had surgery and was unable to race there for a little while, so he's doing quite well here. Um, Super Softs here for Forza Alonso, turning the similar laps uh, to what the leader was doing a couple laps ago. And Dubsy, who is right there with Alonzo as well. Looks like Alonzo's a little bit quicker. Um, but right now, the idea is when will maybe hit the pits? When is he going to hit the pits here to put on some new and fresh tires? And what, what tire compound will he go with? So, maybe is it. Let's take a look. How much of a lead does he have? What's he going to be able to do? We want to see what kind of tires he's got. What tires do they have laid out? Yellows. He's going on the softs. Ditch Witch is going to inherit the lead here. And maybe is going on softs. Now, I want to go up here with Majaku now in fifth. Dubsy in third. Who's still right there with Forza Alonso. Dubsy is five seconds back from the leader, and there you can see Maybe right there. So, Maybe was unable to hold those boys off, but he went a lot more laps. He made that long stint that Dubsy and Alonzo are trying to do right now. And now, D Maybe is going to have a little bit fresher tires, even though they're the harder compound. Even though he's on the softs, he's going to have fresher tires, and if he can make a move on these guys, he puts himself in a position to win this race. You can see him catching Dubsy right now. And we're going to stick with these guys because this is the race right here. This is the battle. You think he can go to the end on those softs? That is a long run. But he did do, what, 12, 13 laps on the super softs. Those softs aren't slowing him down. Look at him. Maybe is a man possessed. And you can see that ghosted Renault. He's not in this race. That is a car that has left this race. Probably a disconnection. <clears throat> I can't believe how fast Maybe is. Started seventh on this grid. He is on a harder compound tire. And he is eating up the points leader like he's not even there. He's going to make a move to the inside right now. He's got a nose in. Is it far enough up? He's going to think a little better of it. We've talked about maybe he's had a couple of self-inflicted mistakes that have killed him out of wins and podiums recently. So we've got to make sure that we make that move. And now he's got the DRS and he's going to do it. No, not enough room. Dubsy's in hot. Maybe able to get a run off the corner. He's to the inside. But now he's going to be on the outside of this corner. Going to wait a little bit over under. Not going to happen. Got to watch that front wing. Maybe he's trying to play it safe. He's trying to be as patient as he possibly can, but he knows if he passes these next two cars, he has put himself in the race for the win. So now he's to the inside. He's going to make that move on Dubsy, a power move there by maybe in the Force India, and he is out front coming down. A little bit of grass there, cutting the grass there, coming towards the start-finish line. Can Dubsy make a look? No, not this time. So maybe making the move stick now up to second place in this race clearly ditch witch has made his pit stop whoa 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 no he hasn't forza alonzo's made a pit stop he's off the super softs and on to softs there was something that he didn't like about those super softs he saw how quick maybe was on softs this is his last pit stop of the race forza alonzo will go to the end Alonzo will go to the end now. He would not have made that move if not. So we're going to have to keep an eye on him, but he's mired in traffic now. I wonder if that was the right call to make. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. But running in ninth, mired in traffic, for Alonzo is good to go to the finish. Majaco in fourth. He's on super softs. Dubsy on super softs in third. Four seconds back from the leader. Maybe three seconds back from the leader. He's on softs, and Ditch Witch now finally hitting the pits. Maybe is going to inherit the lead. Ditch Witch, this is his first pit stop of the race, started this race in 17th position, and he is doing quite well. Going to go on to the super softs. Not 
don't know if he can make it to the end of this race, but he's going to at least make one stint on the Super Softs here. Let's see where he comes up. He is he has earned the right to, to get this camera on him right now because he has run a fantastic race so far. He is out in sixth. We'll see here that is base chief ninja behind him who's not going to be able to make a move but hey he is on the outside there he's trying Ooh, the mclaren has gone wide and ditch Witch is going to get by for fifth place so ditch Witch from 17th on the grid now running fifth in this race on super soft tires fresh tires but you can see behind him look who's behind him forza alonzo got almost two cars in that corner he was able to get the mclaren he is now on the back of Base Chief Ninja in the Ferrari, trying to make as many positions as he can because he cannot lose time in this traffic. That would be a disadvantage to his pit strategy, so he can't have it happen right now. Is he on the outside of the Ferrari there? Yes, he is, and he's going to make that move stick. Power move by the Haas for Alonso into sixth. Now looking at Ditch Witch in fifth. Let's get back up to the front here. Maybe in the lead of this race has a two-second lead on Dubsy, so Dubsy has let maybe get out front, but now he's kind of sticking it close. He has uh, leveled that lead out a little bit from what was happening before. Majako, who is five seconds, six seconds back there in third. Uh, that is Gordow with the Red Bull of probably Nick Dahi there in between them. I'm not sure. Uh, Ditchwich in fifth. Alonzo in sixth there, who we've been watching. Base Chief Ninja. In seventh, I am a drunk dolphin in eighth. Hootius up to ninth in the points. Strong run for that Williams. Hootius is always happy to get up there in the points. Still learning the Formula One craft here with the PRL. Brian Mosser, the sponsor of this race, running in tenth. He started to drop a little bit. He was doing pretty well. That car has started to go backwards. Not sure if he's struggling on those super softs. We saw that Forza Alonso didn't like him. He got off him pretty quick. Ultra softs for Nick Dahi. We've not seen those purples since the beginning of the race, but he's trying to run some quick laps to catch back up. He has gained a couple of seconds on the race leader, so I'm sure he will have some more positions left to be made. There's Mitch Mann in the Williams. Bubba there in the McLaren. Zeke, who is out there running, he's the one that is separating the uh, third and fourth place runners right there, and he's actually catching the defending champion of Majaco, maybe on a little fresher tires. I don't know what it is about the super softs, but the softs are almost quicker. It looks, just looks quicker. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron's saying that he's not sure about uh, Alonso's strategy, so that's that's going to be an interesting thing to ki keep an eye on here. I believe this car is ghosted out. Cleo is gone. J Dub as well ghosted out. He's the Renault. And now here we are with maybe. Wow, there's been a big gap here. Oh, Dubsy's hit the pit lane. Dubsy's hit pit lane. Majako now in second. Gordow in fourth. Alonzo, Ditchwich. Wow, Dubsy fell a lot. What happened there? Even Alonzo came out way ahead of him, and Alonzo had traffic. Dubsy hit pit lane to change on the softs, and something went wrong. It was not just the pit stop that cost him that many positions. Behind Base Chief Ninja in seventh. Dubsy now having a tough go of this race. Going to make the move into sixth. Looking at Mel El Majaco, who has been bumped back now. Coming into the pits. Let's see what kind of tires he's putting on. Those are sops for the defending champ, Majaco. We will see here. Alonzo has made his way around Ditch Witch. Ditch Witch on the Super Softs. But he's still fighting there with Alonzo. Alonzo's not getting away. Maybe we'll stick with these boys for a minute. Ditch Witch, you want to say that he's punching above his weight, but clearly he is a heavyweight fighter today. This must be one of his favorite tracks, and he is enjoying himself right now. He's in the groove. Anytime you make up that many positions, he, I'm, I'm sure he feels like Superman. Yeah, Dubsy can't push those tires, but he's got... Wow, how far back is he? He's five seconds back from these guys. So he's got some work cut out for him there. Gordal now in second, 12 seconds back from the leader. And maybe in clear command of this race. 12 seconds ahead of everybody. Maybe as long as he doesn't have any sort of mistakes... Real good position to take this race home. 
in what would be his first PRL victory. He is looking for win number one, and he has put himself in an excellent position to make that happen here at the Red Bull Ring in Austria. So we're going to take a look back here. Gordal losing time to the leader on the soft tires. Still a good run for Gordal. I'm sure he's pretty happy right now. Just got to make sure that pit strategy works out for him. You can see Forza Alonso catching him from behind. Ditchwich as well right there. Great run by Ditchwich. You can't say enough about this guy today. Dubsy not able to make up any time yet on Ditchwich ahead of him. Ditchwich, of course, on the super soft, so he's probably got one more stop, and I don't know if Dubsy's going to try to go all the way or not. We'll have to see. We know Forza Alonso might have been thinking that, but that, that's a lot of laps to go on them softs. It's a lot of laps. Ditchwich did what, 18? I don't know. I guess we'll see. It's, it's going to be interesting. We talk about this all the time. It's always about the tire strategy. Always about the tire strategy. So let's see here. I want to get back up here with the leader. I think he's got plenty of time left on those tires. And maybe we'll check the times as well to see what he's running. Right now, 10.8 is pretty solidly as high as a, as a 1 minute 10.4. Um, for his Alonzo, who is actually running quite a bit quicker. So he is catching the leader right now, making those softs work a little better, although his softs are a little newer. Gordow, who is in the 1 minute 11 bracket, had a mistake there on lap 19 that pushed him back into the 1 minute 13 bracket. Ditchwich running in the 10s, very quick times there on the super softs. And Dubsy, who is running the quickest times of all there on the softs. He was down in the one minute nine bracket, so doing quite well. Let's check on Majaco too, the defending champ. Um, not having the race he wanted. We know he had that uh, that glitch with his setup, so he does not have the car undering him that he wants. Uh, Ditchwich ran 16 laps on the softs. Thank you, Pork Chops. So he uh, he's got to stop most likely. Uh, he's got to stop one more time. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of tires he'll put on there. Maybe he can go far enough to go ultra soft and so just turn some quick laps. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, not saving as much on those quick times there. So those softs are going to wear out a little bit for him. So uh, we do have a little bit of a, of a breather here from the early action. I want to thank everybody for stopping in. This is round four of the Precision Racing League Formula 1 2016 season. This is season 8. Uh, we are at the Red Bull Ring in Austria, and we've had some fantastic action so far. Uh, plenty of really, really good battles for the lead. Forza Alonso and Dubsy's been running very, very tight, swapping the lead, swapping positions back and forth. Uh, maybe with a commanding lead in this race, he is sitting... 13 seconds ahead of Forza Alonso right now. So Alonso has got his way around Gordal for a second. Uh, how are we looking for the last few point spots? Going to check that out in just a second. Uh, Gordal here running third, getting a little slower on those softs. Ditch Witch in 16, or in 16 seconds back. Position four. Dubsy catching up a little bit he's catching the leader a little bit now only 18 seconds back how far is he only two seconds back from ditch witch Gordow is two seconds ahead of them so you know those guys are fairly tight majaco in six 25 seconds back struggling with that setup glitch i am a drunk dolphin with a really strong run in that toro rosso who's sitting in seventh Base Chief Ninja in the second Ferrari, running 38 seconds back in eight. That's a, it's a uh, ghosted car of Clio there. Brian Mosser in ninth, 44 seconds back. So he is in the points, been able to make up at least a position since we last seen him. KWP, who is running 10th here in the Scuderia Toro Rosso, 58 seconds back. So he's getting close to being in danger of being lapped. Hootius, who is... He's got the leader right on his tail, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe a couple of cars in between him. So, Hootius 
falling into the clutches there. He's got his teammate right there, Mitch Mann behind him in 12th. Those guys looking to get into the points tonight, but they still got to find some positions. Nick Dahi battling his way back up. Now one lap down is Nick Dahi, but he's got a fast piece under him. He's still in the fight for some points. He's right there. We're going to try and pass the leader. Got to make sure you do that quite well. He, now he's going to lift. He's going to let it go. He said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't realize. Didn't realize that was the leader. Dubsy just passed Ditch Witch. So Dubsy moving up into fourth. We've got Zeke here in his first PRL Formula One race running 14th. This guy's from the NASCAR League. Uh, Zeke, very quick driver. Uh, really getting his feet wet jumping in the deep end here tonight. Bubba running 15th, two minutes back. And then Cleo is ghosted, J-Dub is ghosted. We are back to the leader, maybe, on soft tires. Only 10 laps left in this race. So we are going to see him most likely hit pit road here soon. Unless he feels like Forza Alonso is not going to pit, who probably will not pit. So the question is, can maybe pit at this point? Can he pit? What is the pit delta? Because only 10 seconds back, we know Alonso is going to come out in the lead. But can the fresh tires, if maybe decides to pit, can those fresh tires get him back out front? Dubsy up to third, 15 seconds back. He is catching the leader. Only five seconds behind Alonzo. Ditchwich still out there on the track on the Super Softs. Think he's going to have to hit pit road here soon. 20 seconds delta, yeah. So to make up 10 seconds in only a short amount of time, here comes Ditchwich into the pits. He's going to hit pit road. Somebody else in pit road ahead of him. I don't think that's maybe. He'd be too far back. That is the Williams in pit road right there. So we're going to check here. Majacko is going to come around Dubsy into fourth. Running pretty well having that setup glitch. And your leader, maybe, still has Nick Dahi right there behind him. Alonzo still 10 seconds back. Super softs for the hard charger of uh, Ditch Witch. Super softs going on. Watching Forza Alonso here. We're going to have a battle for this race. We're just not sure how it's going to turn out with this pit strategy. He's able to hold the gap. So, I mean, will those tires eventually just totally crap out on him? I don't know. I mean, Dubsy's right there, too, because Dubsy's catching Alonso. We know Dubsy's got a couple laps fresher tires, and he seems to be a little quicker right now. So what are we going to see here? This could become really, really interesting really quickly. Oh, quit shaking the table, bub. Oh, yeah? What do you say? Alonzo? He's still right there. Nine seconds back now, so he's picked up a second. Still catching the leader. Not many laps left in this race. This will end quickly. We know these are really only one-minute laps here. What's that? Chase Elliott car. You're thinking the wrong race, buddy. <laughs> yeah, 22 laps on the softs. I don't know. I mean, he's not losing time like crazy, and alonzo has got a lot less laps on his softs, but... I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens here. We thought maybe he had a commanding lead in this race, but maybe he doesn't. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, Alonzo with the slight off there. I don't know if the curb caught him or what. But this is coming right down to the edge, right down to the end. This is Nail Biter City, PRL, the way it always is. Kid knocked my microphone out there. You can't hear me, right? Let me know in chat if you can hear me. Watching Dubsy right now.
13 seconds. Back makes contact with the lap car. Oh, I think the lap car got the worst of it. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. He lost time, though. He lost time there. That move hurt him. Base Chief Ninja has left the session. I'm guessing that's a DC. Typically, we see retired if there's any kind of contact for Zalonzo. That gap has went back to 10 seconds. I, I don't know if you're maybe. I mean, they're not catching you. You know they're going to try to stay out. I mean, finish the race. If they're not catching you, why not? Why not take a chance and push it? This is really interesting right now. Can maybe continue to hold this lead? Can he continue to hold that Delta back to second place? He's got six, seven laps to go here. I'm not sure where we're at on the track right now. He's able to hold a 10 second gap pretty well. I mean, what do you what do you do here? I think you're fine. I think he's got to stay out unless those things just go totally crazy. But if they go crazy, we should see it in the lap times. Yeah, we do have, Aaron points out we got to worry about a puncture, but, I mean, I, we've seen maybe he's been the fastest car in this race. He caught these guys on the harder compound tire at the start of the race. So, I mean, I, we, I have no doubt that the fastest car is leading, and he's still, he's still holding that gap, even on older tires. Now, I mean, this is, this is something we need to talk about right here. Maybe the PRL rookie never won a PRL race is holding off the the all-time PRL wins leader and the current season's points leader on much older tires. He's running the same laps they are, and those guys have such new, newer tires, they should be blowing them out of the water here. Maybe he's doing great. He's doing fantastic. And he has got the race in hand right now, barring any mistakes. But that's what we've seen from maybe so far this season. He's been fast every race. He's had a shot to win before. He's had problems in the pits. He's had problems uh, with contact with other cars. I think he's spun on his own. But right now, maybe is doing all the right things to put himself into a position to stand on the top step of the podium tonight. So, I mean, really, really excellent job here by maybe. And, you know, as we're talking about him, let's also talk about the guy here, Ditch Witch. He's made 11 positions. He has made 11 positions in this race. And I don't know about Gordow. I don't know if Gordow's made his pit stop. He's on super softs. But Ditch Witch is right there, only five seconds back. I don't think Ditch Witch is going to check uh, catch Majako. Um, but, I mean, that's a fantastic race from Ditch Witch, too. Dubsy there, your points leader. He's got a strong finish here on the podium. I don't think he's finished off the podium all season. Nick Dahi has officially retired from the session, so he has fought his way as much as he could. Ooh, a virtual safety car. What's happened? What's happened? Let's see if we can find somebody here. Maybe it was Dahi. Maybe it was Dahi. Because if he retired, maybe he hit the wall, caused some damage, something out there, and then finally retired from the race. I don't know, because I can't find anything else. Let's watch maybe. We'll go to the race director, see what they say. What is the incident? Gordow ignores the yellow flag. Got to stop and go, Zeke. I don't see him on there. I don't see him on there. Base Chief Ninja also got a speeding pit lane violation there. So, not sure. Looks like uh, the virtual safety car is over. So, they don't... Maybe. No, it's not over yet. That that would not happen right there. This has hurt Alonzo somehow, though. He's 12 seconds back. He was only 10. So, this virtual safety car might have just retired on his own, yeah? Hey, Jonesy, how's it going, man? But this is really, that virtual safety car does help the leader maybe because now he doesn't have to push those tires during these laps. Yeah, Pork Chops is saying it. They ain't saying the same thing right there. 
Very, very interesting stuff. Maybe just a couple of laps away from his first PRL victory. Running, quite frankly, the perfect race. Strongest car out there. Three to go this time. Jonesy thinking about streaming sprint cars on iRacing tomorrow. Are you going to go non-wing or winged? I want to know. Non-wing or wing? What a fantastic drive-by, maybe. I mean, I, you know, we've been talking about him most of this race, but I, I'm very, very impressed right here. This driver has done a lot. And you can see him sliding that car. He's still working it. He's still doing the best he can. Look at Alonzo, though. Alonzo only eight and a half seconds back now. Let's follow this gap. Wing to need your arrow. That's all right, Jonesy. No problem there. You're an Ohio guy, right? So you want them wings. Non-wing is typically Indiana. Ah, uh, yeah. Got to buy that one too, don't you? <laughs> so for Alonzo, I want to see when we come up to a sector trap to see how much he's picking up. He's not. So it's the gap has stabilized there between he and the leader. Two laps to go this time for maybe. Let's make a quick run through the field. Hey, Frozen, you're joining just at the end of this race. Maybe has made these soft tires last a long, long time and has driven a perfect race from seventh place on the grid and is a couple of laps away from his maiden Formula One PRL victory. He's looking for win number one, and right now he's going to get it. Uh, he's got a lap car right there battling with him. I think that's Brian Mosser. Brian's got to be very careful not to in involve himself in this race lead here. k and in at Dega if you're feeling white knuckle. <laughs> it is Dega week, isn't it? So for Zalonzo, nine seconds back now. He's dropping. Dubsy in third, 12 seconds back. We got Majaco, Gordow, Ditch Witch in sixth from 17th on the grid, Drunk Dolphin seventh, Brian Mosser in eighth, KWP in ninth, Base Chief Ninja who is ghosted. It looks like all these cars af after here are now ghosted. Uh, well, no, Zeke's still out there. Mitch Man's still out there. Who do you, so this, uh, he's actually got a ghost ahead of them boys. Bubba in 14th. And then we're into the ghosted cars of Cleo and J-Dub. Back to your leader. On the final lap of this race. He's got, ooh, Alonzo. What did he have to pit? He did. The tires wouldn't last. Maybe a puncture. He's got a puncture right there. You can see it. A puncture on the right front for Alonzo. He's going to drop. Unfortunate for Alonzo. We're going to see if he can get out ahead of Majaco, but we've got to look. Up here is the story. Dubsy now in second, your points leader, going to continue to widen that points gap, but he's not going to put any points on maybe tonight. Maybe in his first PRL season is coming in to the Red Bull ring in Austria. Round four. It only took him four rounds to finally get this right. We saw that he has had some mistakes earlier in this season. He's been quick every race, easily could have won a, won a race before now, but it's those mental mistakes that kept him out. But tonight, there's no mental mistakes. On this Thursday, maybe we'll gain his first PRL victory in Austria. Congratulations, maybe. You have absolutely earned it, man. What a drive. Fantastic drive. Those softs are 22 laps old, and he made them look brand new. Great, great job there by Maybe. Now we're looking at this battle. Dubsy has crossed the finish line in second. Now it's El Majaco in third. Looks like he's going to be able to hold off for Alonzo. So Majaco with a third place finish out of that car when he has got the glitch that has glitched out his setup. I don't know if he's on default or what, but he had the setup glitch, started in eighth, and Majaco is going to finish this race on the podium with a setup glitch. Ditch Witch coming across in sixth. Very proud of that run that he's done there in the Sauber, and he should be after starting 17th. Drunk Dolphin's going to end up finishing seventh here. Let's see if we can continue to go through the field. We don't have too many cars left that aren't ghosted. 
Brian Mosser in eighth, who is the sponsor of this race. Brian with a really good finish for him. One minute 20 back from the leader, but he's running quite well. In the points, he's going to be happy, I'm sure. I think everybody else is finished. This is your last finishing car uh, because everybody else was uh, there a lap down and finished like that. So there you have it. Your finishing order. Looks like Base Chief Ninja is going to stick there in 10th as a ghosted car. He's going to earn some points. KWP in 9th as well, getting some points. Good finish for Gordell. He'll be happy with a 5th place. I think that's his best of the season. El Majaco will be over the moon to be on the podium. Dubsy, another solid 2nd place. And maybe the top step of the podium, podium maiden win in the PRL League. Yeah, and what Aaron is saying in the chat, Alonzo must be fuming. He's not got a single finish that he wanted. He's ran been fast in the last three races, and each time we had contact twice, and now he's had a late puncture that has kept him off of the podium. So unfortunate for Alonzo, but maybe with the big win, and he is the true story. Ditch Witch as well ran a fantastic race, but maybe is the story he 